So guys, I am back with another Owl and Ring video. And today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you get this incredible greatsword. A legendary greatsword called the Ancient Meteoric or Greatsword. Check that out. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this is one badass weapon. I mean, look at the distance you can get on this thing i mean i'm not really a fan of these great swords to be honest but this one is definitely piquing my interest with a double blow uh, unique skill as well this thing's pretty badass so let's take a little closer look at the weapon so we can see right here it scales with strength dexterity and an arcane pretty cool and it requires a 35 in strength 10 in dex and 19 in arc so yeah uh, i mean see right there it's unique Skill is called White Light Charge. Summons white light from the crevice in the weapon's ancient meteoric ore, using its power for a charging attack which pierces foes. Additional inputs cause a light to explode. And that's exactly what this thing does. But it just looks absolutely incredible. And it doesn't half match my armor, does it? Not people. The night armor is some of the best in the game. This matches it perfectly it really does i mean so this is a great great weapon and i know there's going to be many players out there who, who like these great swords i'm going to be thinking yep i need that in my life so yeah like i said it's it's unique to get a super lunge and if you press it twice it does a lunge and it explodes that white light all that good shit okay so how do you get this well it's actually quite simple depending on where you are on your playthrough so if you've beaten uh Rilena from Castle Ensis, you can get this, or even if you haven't, you can skill skip this boss from Castle Ensis, make your way around, and you end up basically here because all this area here is locked off by you uh, completing Castle Ensis. But it's, like I said, there's an actual a skip for that boss, which I'll link in the video description if you want to follow that route. Um, but yeah, it means you can come and explore this entire area because what we need to do, guys, is we need to get down to this ruin forge of Star Four Past, uh, so that obviously the normal way will be complete, uh, defeat uh, Relena, and then push on to well from her grace point, push on to the next one you'll come to, which is the High Road Cross, which is where we're gonna go, guys. So we'll go from here to this place. I'm going to show you, case to you guys exactly how you get this weapon. So it's pretty cool. So it's here, guys. Like I said, it's located right there. So we'll just mark it. Now it's just southeast of where we are, but you can't just go straight southeast. You'll fall off and die. You have to come around. So come around, guys, just like this. Just like this. Now it's a little steep here still, but you should survive. And there you go. Now we're good to go this way. Pretty cool. Now avoid these big old dudes here on his horse. You ain't catching me. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, oh dear. Okay, so now we're just going to go around this way right here. Following this path, people. Following this path. And we're coming to it pretty soon. It's literally just here, guys. So, it's actually a grace here too, uh, which uh, obviously you want to interact with. Yeah, it's just basically here. So, let's go in here, guys. And there we go. So come down these ladders and try not to fall like I almost did then. Drop to the bottom, just like so. And you'll see that the grace is there on your right hand side. Okay, so from here guys, you'll go across this bridge. And then you'll pull this lever. Once you pull this lever, you'll see that gate then will come down, which is what we want. So wait for it to come down, jump down. And let's follow the path I take. Running past all the enemies, obviously. Uh, try not to get hit. Some of these guys are just so much a pain in the ass. And then, guys, you want to take a right. And watch out for the big dude hiding behind these rocks. Let's come straight down here, and there's going to be the ladders on your right hand side, which you then want to go up. Probably actually take this enemy out too while you're here. And go up with ladders. And we are going in the right spot, people. Okay, so from up here, guys, just come around this corner. 
and then ignore all these enemies. We'll try to ignore them all. Jump up here, just like so, and then come down this way. And now, guys, you'll see on your right hand side there's a little uh, drop down, drop down here, and we are good. Then, people, you want to interact with this lever, which will come down. You'll see it there. Uh, that gate will come down. Now what you'll do is you run around here and you'll pull this lever right there. So once you've pulled the lever, you want to run and quickly get up on top of that gate. Just like so. And at the top, people, will be where you get this weapon. Pretty cool, people. And you also get that ancient stone too. What's not to love? Now feel free to explore this. Uh, this place because there's a couple more weapons here uh, so yeah don't miss out on them but that's it guys that's how you get this incredible ancient meteoric or great sword guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one